when you first saw Florida State come open as, as a job opening, why was that an attractive option for, for you? You know, I think attractive for so many reasons. I think Florida State's uh, an unbelievable academic institution. Uh, the athletic programs just across the board are so successful. Um, all the resources that a coach could want to, to be successful. And um, honestly, I really thought I could come here and make a difference. So uh, it really checked every box. It really wasn't even a consideration of uh, should I wait for another job or, or look at something else. It was like, okay, my family's from Florida. My wife's a Florida girl. And it's like, this is the one we've been kind of waiting for. And, and this is a great fit for us for lots of reasons. For, for those seeing you for the first time, give us a little bit of background in, in, into swimming for, for you. Uh, you know, uh, I come from England. I swam on the England Junior National Team and um, actually swam with uh, alumni Steve Parry, who uh, Olympic medalist from FSU, and we were both on the England Junior Team together back then and um, came out to the U.S. to uh, swim in college. Wanted to come to FSU and looked at all sorts of schools, just couldn't afford to come to FSU at the time and swam at Florida Atlantic. Had a good college career there and um, went off into the corporate world and worked on Wall Street for a while and Morgan Stanley. Uh, then. A, kind of got back into swimming to do my master's degree and pay for that to, to coach and just fell in love with the sport and um, you know never thought I was going to get a master's degree and continue being a swim coach but you know you f I found what I love I love coming out here every day uh, and being a part of helping the kids so this is what I stayed and just kind of worked my way up through through seven years at FAU with men and women and then uh, 10 years I started a program from scratch at FGCU and, and turned that into a you know a top 20 team and um, scoring at NC2As the last three years and uh, we had a relay uh, top eight at NC2As and just some great things on, on that side and, and now I'm just excited to get back to both both sexes again here and, uh, and, and hope to turn things around. What do you enjoy or love so much about coaching? You know, I think it's just helping the kids move uh, through their life, teaching them skills that help them later in life. So many of my kids want to be a part of what I'm doing now and so many have reached out since I got this opportunity uh, you know I just want to see them be successful you just want to coach kids at the highest level you know have two kids in the Olympics in Rio coming up um, just just helping them every day and, and and getting paid to do this it's crazy that someone pays me to come out here and do something I love every day I think I've won the lottery I know coming in there's a million things you have to put into place what are what are some of the the early goals what are the some of the first things that that you want to do here at Florida State you know, I'm anxious to meet the team. I met the dive team this morning. That was exciting. Um, I, I really want to sit down with the team and talk about how we as a team are going to do things, how we're going to talk, how we're going to act, um, how we're going to respect each other, how we're going to respect our teammates, our coaches, you know, and respect yourselves. And I just really want to talk about taking a, a step forward every day um, and just trying to improve. You know, I don't want to set some crazy goals right now. I just want us to have fun, have the student athlete have a great experience. We're going to work our butts off, um, but we're going to have a good time doing it, you know, and that's just kind of what I'm about. Um, you know, need to look at the staff is probably one of the big things that uh, I have on my uh, agenda for this week um, and, and make some adjustments if I need to and, um, and do, again, I'll always do what's best for the team. You know, whether I've got a personal thing with somebody or somebody, whatever's best for the team is going to go every time. Is there one or two driving forces behind what, what you do philosophically or a coaching style? Yeah, I think, you know, the, I, and I said this on, a, on my interview, swimming is an individual sport. Uh, and, and in the NC2A, we wrap it into a team concept. The team concept makes it fun, makes it exciting. But if we don't care of what individuals need one-on-one, -on -one, uh, we kind of lose something along the way. So my goal is to, uh, is to have a team, have a plan, you know, have a goal for the overall team, but sometimes individuals, they need individual things. They need different things to make them better. You know, you and I are very different. You know, we went in the weight room, we went in the pool, we look very different. We went for a run, uh, and those, we need to be trained differently. So, uh, you know, sometimes you can have the kid in the same event, three kids in the same event, all trained differently. So uh, I'm here to make sure that uh, they get what they need, that we listen to them, we listen to their club coaches, and figure out how we can best make them as good as they can be. Anything else you'd like to tell the, the Seminole family? Just so excited to be here. Looking forward to reaching out to the alumni and um, love to see all the alumni back here for a scrimmage, a swim meet scrimmage and, and have some fun. And I'd really like the alumni to come by and 
uh, maybe spend some time with the team and talk, talk to them a little bit about life and talk to them about uh, transitioning out of college and, and getting jobs and, and, and really kind of having a connection to those guys and hopefully uh, guys and girls and hopefully we can go to a football game and have some fun together.